In this video, we're going to go over the ASA interface configuration and what that entails. In the previous video, I configured the management interface as part of the vCenter template configuration, but I don't actually have that interface routable, nor do I really want to use it. Instead, I'd like to use the inline interfaces instead. The other thing to note because that management interface isn't routing is that if I do a show license summary, you'll see that the license registration is still pending. So let's talk about configuring interfaces on an ASA. When configuring an interface, there are three required configurations for a routed port. The first is a name if. This defines the name for the interface. Think of it as defining a security zone. The best practice is to give it a meaningful name that helps you identify the type of interface it is. The second required configuration is an IP address along with its subnet mask, of course. The last is a security level. A security level defines the trustworthiness of an interface. It's a number between 0 and 100, where 0 is the least trusted. These security levels are used to define how traffic may flow out of the ASA. If the traffic is initiated from a higher security level to a lower security level, this is allowed by default. If the traffic is initiated from an interface with a lower security level towards an interface with a higher security level, it's blocked by default. If the traffic is sent from an interface towards an interface with the same security level as the initiating interface, this is blocked by default as well. However, there are some exceptions to these stated rules. Traffic initiated from a less trusted interface may still be allowed with an implicit ACL on that interface. Traffic from interfaces with the same security level may be allowed with the use of the global Same Security Traffic Permit Inner Interface command. Alternatively, if you're using sub-interfaces with the same security level, you would use the global Same Security Traffic Permit Intra Interface command. So let's start by configuring my outside interface. I'm going to give it a name if of outside. By default, the ASA will set the security level to zero for any name if I initially configure. The only exception to this is when I configure the name if with a name of inside. The ASA will assume that inside means that it's your trusted LAN and assign it a security level of 100. This is the only name that the ASA will set to a default security level higher than zero initially. Of course, after you configure the name if you can manually change the security level if you want. Next, I'll go ahead and configure the IP address. And then I'll unshut the port. I'm going to go ahead and ping the gateway just to make sure it works. Next, I'm going to configure my default route. The syntax for this is route, the name if of the interface this route is going out of, subnet and mask of the route, and gateway. If I put 0 space 0, the ASA will assume that this is the default route. As we can see, we can't add the route. This is because another default route exists on the ASA. That was the default route added as part of the vCenter template going out of the management interface. We can confirm this with a show route. I'll go ahead and delete this static route and then add my own. As we can see, the ASA accepted the addition of the route this time. I'm going to go ahead and verify by pinging an IP address on the internet. It looks like my pings went through, so we can go ahead and move on. Next, I'm going to quickly configure the inside interface. I'll give it a name if of inside. And as we can see, it gave it the security level of 100. The security level of 100 is only assigned by default for the name if of inside. You can name it anything else inside dash one, and it would automatically default to a security level of zero until you manually configured it. I'll give this inside interface an IP address as well, and then no shut it. And once again, we'll ping an IP address that should be reachable and just verify that connectivity. If you want to verify your interface configuration, you can issue the show IP command. This will show us the physical interfaces, name ifs, IP addresses, and subnets. Alternatively, we can see the name if and security levels for the interfaces by issuing the show name if command. And with that, that wraps up our video on ASA interface configuration.